Hello, it's Jessica Plamondon on behalf of the Fall River and Area Business Association. And I am here with one of our lovely members, Ms. Gina Dolan with Allstate Insurance. So I know the last year has been an absolutely incredible year for Gina and her colleagues. So I wanted to sit down with her and bend her ear for, for, for a few minutes. So thank you so much for joining me, Gina. You're welcome. I'm glad to be here. So I'll just get you to introduce yourself a little bit. So your email is gdolan at allstate.ca. Your business address is at 85 Damascus Road. Your category is insurance. And I'll mm -hmm. get you to, you know, describe describe your business. So I do, I work for Allstate in Bedford. Um, we are a corporation, but we do work uh, individually for ourselves as well. Uh, so I do home and auto insurance, as well as I do some pet insurance and travel insurance as well. Uh, one thing that people don't realize with Allstate is we also partner with Haggerty as well for all those antiques and older vehicles that you want to be able to put in a different place rather than just having them under your regular home and auto insurance. Very interesting. And what exactly does pet insurance look like these days? So pet insurance, it's one of those things that everybody really wants. People are really coming to find out that their pets are uh, are one of those things that they do like to have insured. Uh, we pay a lot of money for our pets as well. Why not insure them too? Uh, so for pet insurance, I mean, it's, I, I personally myself got it when I just got a puppy last year and, uh, you know, it covers, covers any kind of medical issues that come up. So like, We've had people who have had dogs that have had their, you know, their hind legs, some of the ligaments will tear and that's covered. So it's kind of, it's good to have that, especially when you have bigger animals. Um, for my dog, she's multi-poo. So I, I did it because I also have another dog that unfortunately ate a hot dog and um, needed to have some surgery and I, she was not covered. So I decided that uh, any other dog that I would have, I would have coverage on. So, you know, it's minimal amount every month to cover, you know, our favorite animals. I'm going to get you to back up for a second. Okay, the dog <laughs> ate a hot dog. So did it choke on the hot dog or did it just make it sick? Like, I don't it, understand why it didn't just get past the story. I'm yeah, like, <laughs> she, um, she, it was bro a broken off piece of hot dog and it got stuck in her intestines. So it, uh, it didn't digest well. So we had to get her operated on to remove the hot dog. So no more hot dogs in our house. No more hot dogs. Okay, good <laughs> note to self. No more hot dogs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So thank you for describing your business. So where are where are you originally from, Gina? Um, I was born and raised in Waverly. Um, and I lived there, lived in Waverly until about four years ago when I sold my house and moved to Fall River. So you would have seen our community change a lot over the years. I have. Yes. So, you know, like I went through all the schools in Waverly, went through George P. Vanier uh, and then off to C.P. Allen because Lockby wasn't there. Uh, but now great to have a high school within our community. And you know, I mean, we have so many feeder schools, so it's it did make sense because we've grown so much and it's it's exciting to see the growth. Right. Like growing up in a small town where you knew everybody. And then as an adult, you know, a lot of our friends that we grew up with stayed within Waverly and Fall River as well. So it's nice to have that multi-generational family still within the same community. So it does, it hits home, you know, like you, you really like to be in a community that you know everybody. Nice, nice. Um, okay, so tell me a little bit about the how and the why you got into selling insurance. So I, I was a personal banker for 16 years uh, and I needed a change. I, so I decided, you know what, like, let's see what we can do in insurance. I had had a few friends that were insurance brokers with some of the bigger companies. I didn't really want to go into a brokerage. I kind of wanted to work with somebody that was an independent. So I, um, I happened to, to know my boss's wife and I had seen that there was a posting for it. So I reached out and I came into the office the same day, had an interview and, um, and I got the job. So I left with uh, insurance books to go and study for my insurance license and completed that within two weeks. I wanted to get in as quick as I could. And uh, here I am five and a half years later and loving my job. That's great. That's so great. Five years. <laughs> 
So in the past five years, well, really the last year has been a monumental year for your business. So do you want to touch a little bit on the changes you've seen in your industry? Let's let's just talk about 2023 in general. Ah. What happened for you? I know. I will be very happy when it's 2024 and uh, a new year without some major storms and uh, some fires. But uh, yeah, so this year, this year honestly has been a little bit of a crazy year starting out with you know the fires in july and now the storms um it honestly has been crazy we uh, we've seen some catastrophic losses out i don't think we ever thought we would see here in nova scotia to be completely honest yeah. it is it's scary and a lot of people kind of you know you trust who you're insured with um and the biggest thing that you want to know is you know what are you insured with when you have a loss and there was a lot of losses unfortunately um some people realized that they were covered and it was great some people realized that they didn't have some of the most important coverages that you want when you do home insurance you expect that you would be covered for everything but sometimes you're not unfortunately and sometimes it's not explained um you know, when it comes to water, it wasn't a mandatory thing in Nova Scotia to have any kind of overland or, or limited sewer backup. Um, now that we've had the losses that we have, that is kind of the most important thing. Um, I know all state itself changed that about two years ago that we do, we have enhanced water damage on any property that is not within, you know, 100 feet of a body of water that rises in like tidal water and stuff like that. Um, as well as, you know, limited sewer backup. A lot of people didn't realize that's something that they even had an opportunity to have on their policies. With us at Allstate, it is a mandatory, you either have limited sewer backup or you have enhanced water damage, unless you're on a tidal water where, or, you know, like, for example, you know, um, along the Sackville River. Unfortunately, none of those homes would ever be able to have any kind of enhanced water damage because of the rising tidal water from the ocean coming through the Sackville River. And as we saw, you know, there was a lot of damage in Bedford. There's still a lot of places that still aren't open because of the damage, um, which is horrible, but it's, you know, those are the biggest things that you really need to look at when you're looking at your home and auto insurance. I know we focus right now on home only because it's your biggest investment. You know, sometimes price on insurance is not the deciding factor for people. It's the coverage, you know, your coverage could be, you know, you could have a single limit of insurance of over a million dollars with us and it has water damage. But unfortunately, with somebody else, you may not have that cost difference, maybe about three to four hundred dollars a year. But at the end of the day, when you have a loss like this and same with the fires, when you have a huge loss, you want to make sure that you're covered 100 percent and covered for what you need to be covered for. Yeah. And unfortunately, it's one of those things you don't know until it's too late. Exactly. So, I mean, that's the one thing that I spend a lot of my time doing with most of my clients. I'll ask them, I'll give them their quote, and then I'll ask them for their actual policy so that I can have a look and see what they were covered for or what they are covered for currently at their provider. And then I'll show them the differences between us and them. You know, and sometimes we're not better. Sometimes we are better. It all just depends. Uh, but the most important thing is making sure that you have the right coverage in the event of any loss, because it is you know, that's your most expensive item in your lifetime is your mortgage. Right. And and you know, for, for, from my side of things, when I'm, when I'm writing an agreement of purchase and sale for a buyer, if they're going to be financing the house, uh, insurance is a requirement. It's not an option. It, is. it has to be insured. So Correct. what I find, especially with some first time home buyers, they, they don't necessarily have a lot of material belongings. And so they think, oh, I'll right. just get the cheap. I'll just call around and get the cheapest rate. And then three years later, they're, they're stuck with that entry-level insurance plan that doesn't cover them right. for all their their new hobbies that they have recently enjoyed. Exactly, yes. yeah. So how often would you advise somebody to revisit their insurance policy? So personally, I challenge everybody. I do it myself, I'm not going to lie. I, I call... I shop every year, even though I work for Allstate, I always shop around to see if there is a better price, better yeah. coverage. What I do, and I do, I do that's only because I want to be able to save clients. You know, I've called around, I've done this and I don't get the same coverage. And here are the differences between. Uh, I honestly suggest to people, 
especially now, look at your policies. Make sure you are covered for everything. Read that the you fine need. print. My husband is the only person I know who reads the fine print, but he will sit there with his, <laughs> his glasses yep. and read every single line of that contract. And I highly suggest doing that, you know, because it is it is your most important thing in life is your your home, your belongings. Obviously, your family is the most important, but where you house them is, you know, is definitely important as well. But yeah, I definitely suggest that everybody has a look at what they're actually covered for. Look at your deductibles, right? If you are finding that, you know, your prices are higher, have a look at your deductibles. What is the likelihood of you putting in a claim? You know, if you have a claim of of $2,000 and you have a $1,000 deductible, are you going to actually put that claim through or are you going to do it yourself, right? Those are the questions that people have to ask themselves is mm. you, yes, your, your price may be higher, but could you handle a higher deductible, which then could lower your price, right? I know myself, I'm handy. So if I had like my deductible is $2,500, if I had a leak or I had something come in and I just needed to replace some drywall and stuff like that, I can do that. I'm not going to put a claim through for something that's under, you know, $2,500. So to me to have a higher deductible is a better option. It lowers my monthly payment or like my annual payment. Um, but if you're a person who is like, nope, if I had a $2,000 claim, I'm putting it through because I'm not handy or I can't do that, or I don't have anybody to help me do it. then I understand that as well, you're going to pay a little bit more. But that's kind of where people look at look at the pricing is, you know, based on deductibles and what they're actually covered for. Right. Gotcha. So, I mean, I guess it doesn't really make a ton of sense to get into, you know, what exactly does Overland cover? Because I feel like anybody who needed it in 2023 would have called you and they, they don't need any educating on that. <laughs> but exactly. Yeah, we, uh, you know, and unfortunately, there are a lot of places in Fall River, like I don't have Overland water because I'm at the bottom of a hill. Right. So the runoff comes through as we yeah, all saw. We, we had it, like, thankfully. Yeah. Like, let's look at Tamarack at the bottom of Tamarack. Their entire entry point to Tamarack Hills was completely washed out. Right. Some people had overland water. Most people didn't because of the location and the way that the water comes down. Right. I mean, I've seen videos of water going through people's homes like. It is, un, you know, it's unfortunate. You hope that you had the right drainage, like the French drains around your home to be able to divert that water. Mm -hmm. But the way the water came down, unfortunately, it just, it came down too fast for anything really to be able to help get stuff away from your home. Um, and that is unfortunate for sure. Okay. Okay. So there's one more thing that I want to ask you about because it comes up in my, in my work uh, Facebook group regularly is Kitech. Give me a little bit of a uh, background uh, on Kitech. Do you insure it? What's like it's it's 50-50. Sometimes people do, some people don't. So I'll get your I'll get right. your perspective on Kitech if you don't mind. So when I first started at Allstate, we insured Kitech. Uh I had Kitech in my own home as well. Um unfortunately we don't anymore. It uh, we stopped insuring Kitech probably around 18 months ago. Hopefully we will get it back. I know some companies do, some companies don't. We all seem to kind of flip back and forth to see if, if it is something. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because when I first started, we were the only company that insured Kitech, right? Like, and I mean, if you have Kitech in your home and you haven't had a loss, 90% chance you're not going to have a loss on it. It's going to sustain. Um, it's the fittings that let go. Um I mean, that's kind of our argument because it is hard. There is a lot of homes that were built in, say, like the early 2000s, between like 96 to, say, 2005, had Kitech was the way to go about doing things, right? If they've been refitted, we can do it. Uh, but if there is Kitech through the hosts, it's not something that we're able to do, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, so. it's it's one of those things it's kind of we feel like you know we're we're already surpassed the amount of, like the time for failure on that but it's not something that uh, that we're ready to take that risk back on as of yet well and for those who don't know there was a class action lawsuit in the united states for the fittings going and it's Correct. my to my knowledge i don't think there was ever one lawsuit here in nova scotia as a result from the kitech faulting yeah 
And I haven't heard of it either. I do know that it was a lot in the U.S. Now, I'm not sure if they're different parts or different what have you's in the U.S. that they use that are different here. I'm not sure, but I don't believe there was any losses. I know we didn't take any losses on well, Kai Tech. I'll tell here. you from a real estate perspective, as soon as I see it in a house, I tell my clients, I'm like, look, there's Kai Tech. There's nothing I can say about this product that I won't look like I'm selling snake oil. Let's go. Yeah. Let's get out exactly. of the house right now. <laughs> it is. It's There's true. There's nothing I can say. There's not like, you're because as soon as this conversation is over, you're going to go to Google and Google's going to tell you all these nightmare stories that <laughs> I'm not like, I'm not, it's not my job to defend Kai Tech. It's, it's not. Yeah. So I'm just going to no, say, let's go. <laughs> yeah. And I know the person who bought my home because when I built my home in 2002, it had Kai Tech. And I know the person who bought my home refitted the entire home so that was our first thing that they did is they took it out because they didn't want the chance of loss yeah yeah I uh, I had clients who took all of the fittings out of the house and then once they once they did that they said that was such a waste of time and money they should have just sealed the system off and put in a heat pump which is what they ended up doing yep. anyway just leave the walls intact exactly yep it makes so more sense yeah, that's what people want to do. And I mean, we can also one thing that uh, that all state can do is we can insure a home with just mini splits. We don't have to have a full central air or secondary backup for um, for heating. We do use your mini splits or your or your um, non ducted heat pumps as a main source of heat where some companies do not do that. That's good to know. That is another issue yeah. that does come up in real estate trading. Okay, That's... my dear. Well, Gina, I really, really thank you for taking the time to sit down and chat a little bit about insurance. I know it's been on people, it's been a hot, hot topic for many, many people this year. So yes. thank you for taking the time. Again, Absolutely. Gina Dolan can be reached at G Dolan, D O L A N, at allstate.ca. Thanks and have a great Perfect. afternoon. Thanks, you as well.